Hey friends, I spent this entire last hour filming half of this video without my mic, so the audio quality is shit, and now I have to redo it. But it's okay, I am all about delivering the best quality, even if it puts me through pain. Anyways, what is up? It's Ash. Welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. It has been so freaking long since I've been able to sit down in front of a camera and just talk to you guys, but I figured you guys have been seeing my vlogs and all my other videos, and I think it's about time for a life update. I think it's really long overdue. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit down, chat with you guys, and talk about some major changes that have happened and are going to happen in my life. I put out a few Instagram stories asking people to ask me questions. Let's get started. Let's not waste any time. So the first question I got, which I actually got a lot, is how is your co-op experience? Can you talk about what you do and where do you work? So yeah, my co-op experience is pretty good so far. I work for a marketing and public relations firm called Publicity Nation PR and they're based in Nashville and they basically work with a bunch of like musicians as their clients and just help them promote their music, do public relations for them, all of that. So yeah, it's a little outside of my comfort zone because I don't listen to country music. I'm not really the biggest fan, but a lot of their artists are country because they're in Nashville. So I'm just like trying to do my best. Actually, some of the artists have some really amazing music out. So it's pretty cool. It's cool to work with. The people there are also super, super nice. It's a really great community and a good environment. And I've been doing a lot of email outreach, which I'm sure you guys saw in my vlog. Um, and while that can be a little tedious, I'm also doing other things like writing music reviews, doing social media graphics, which I love. I love doing graphic design. So yeah, small things like that really add up and it makes me feel good about myself because I feel like it's really rewarding. That's just a little rundown on my co-op experience. So yeah. The next question I got is, can you talk about the Drexel co-op search? process so yeah here's the thing though my co-op search process was completely different it's got a text so i'll talk about mine first basically my co-op is only for three months and it's only during summer terms whereas normal drexel students will have them for six months straight and it can be through fall winter or spring summer but since i'm only doing mine for three months a lot of it for me was an independent search process which basically means i have to do all the research for the company like all the reaching out drexel does provide us with some like resources and suggestions of companies that you could reach out to but for the most part it's on you to email them it's on you to schedule your interviews and kind of just figure out what their intern application process is i had my co-op advisor like help me some of the way but for the most part i was pretty independent about it as for like a typical drexel student that has a six month co-op cycle, you go through like a website that Drexel hosts and basically they have like a list of all of these employers. Through that website, you can send your resume, you can see like if people want to interview you. And it's a lot more streamlined because Drexel kind of just like does everything for you in terms of like compiling a list of employers, but it's still up to you to like schedule those interviews and like everything like that. It's kind of a confusing process to talk about, but like as you go through it, I've watched like all of my friends do it already. It's really not that hard. So yeah, if you're going to Drexel and you're about to do co-op or you're just interested in like learning about it pretty early on, then definitely like talk to a co-op advisor or someone in that realm. The next question I got is, how do you balance the fast-paced quarter system classes with other things like YouTube and clubs? I have talked about this so many times, but time management is something that I pride myself on the most. My main like mechanism for staying on top of everything and keeping things balanced is journaling and writing things down calendars, scheduling, everything like that. And also knowing my boundaries and knowing my limits. Basically what I mean by that is, I actually have my bullet journal right here. I got a new one, it's really cute. I have a whole like weekly spread of everything that I have to do for that week. And I make sure that like, if someone wants to schedule something, I reference this first. And I also make sure that like, I a lot time for myself to have free time. It doesn't matter how you do it, just write your things down, whether it's in like a planner, a bullet journal, 
Google Cal um, Notion. I use Notion a lot too. Write things down and also know like how much you can mentally handle because you don't want to be drained after every single day. That's not what life is about. I could honestly do like an entire video just talking about how I stay on top of things and like how I bullet journal, how I organize my calendar things like that. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. Okay, the next question I got is, do you have any tips for incoming freshmen at Drexel? I have made so many videos talking about like tips for incoming freshmen or even just like touched upon it in a few Q and A's. So you guys can definitely watch those if you want. But my biggest tip that I will always say is college is what you make of it. And if you're gonna be the type of person that's like really shy, doesn't leave their dorm, doesn't do anything, doesn't get involved, College is gonna suck and you're not gonna have friends and you're not gonna be able to make the connections that you're meant to do when you're in college. If anything remotely interests you, especially in those first two weeks when they have all this programming for recruiting freshmen, if anything remotely interests you, just go out and fucking do it. Nothing bad is gonna come of it. Worst comes to worst, you just decide like, oh, I don't really vibe with this anymore and you just stop, stop going. No hard feelings. They have their own members. You can find your own things because it doesn't matter what people think at college. Like if you want to join the chess club, do the fucking chess club. My best friend's boyfriend does chess club and he loves it. Just do whatever you're passionate about. Don't be afraid to say hi to people, especially again in those first two weeks, everyone's on like make friends mode. Introduce yourself to people, go up and say hi, send that DM. It's really going to be like fine and no one's going to think you're creepy because everyone's trying to make friends. That's how I met one of my best friends here, that's how I met my boyfriend, is just by like them coming up to me or me coming up to them, DMing people, everything like that. Just don't be afraid. It's really not a big deal. But yeah, if you guys want more specific tips, stuff like that, I can definitely make a new video about that. I'm pretty sure my last video on this was like about a year ago at this point, but I have two more videos that you guys could check out if you need some incoming freshman tips. The next question I got is actually from my friend Emma, and she said, what's your favorite photo shoot that you've done? So if you guys don't know, my friend Emma takes all of my photos, like all of my photos that I use for my artist promo, even just some like really cool photos that I have uh, on my Instagram feed. She takes all of them. Honestly, if you guys are in Philly, you should definitely hit her up. She's really cool to work with. My favorite photo shoot that I've done with her, there's a lot, I don't know. <laughs> Not me looking through my Instagram feed right now. Oh, okay, so I really loved all of the photos that we took for promo for my song love on fire you guys should stream that by the way but yeah i took those photos like over a year ago at this point and they're still so cool let me see if i can find them on my feed i'll put a picture right here these guys turned out so freaking cool the lights and the sparklers just the vibes were mwah. there were a lot of really cool photos that we have actually that um I'm really, really proud of. I will say though, I had this one photo shoot with her where I literally got into a bath of water and milk and flowers. It was really fun. Like the photos came out spectacular, but that dress that I was wearing smelled for like three days because it was just like warm milk and bath water and it was kind of disgusting. Do it for the gram. You know the next question i got is what is the meaning behind your tattoos i actually love this question i don't think anyone's really asked me that before i only have two tattoos right now loki want more sorry mom and dad but i have a tattoo on my rib that says love yourself and i think that's pretty self-explanatory i'm a huge like self-love advocate and i try to practice that as much as i can there are times where i fall off the wagon a little bit and it's really nice to have that like literally engraved on my side so that I can remember it every time I look in the mirror. I don't know. It's just a nice reminder of a lesson that I have had to go through multiple trials to learn and I'm still learning. My second tattoo are three butterflies on my ankle and they represent myself and my parents because I was born in the Philippines and they were born and raised in the Philippines. Being an immigrant is like a huge part of my identity and obviously theirs too so i got these three butterflies to signify like flying to a new place yeah i have three one for my parents and one for myself okay someone asked me what my favorite boba drink is and i am really really embarrassed to say that i love taco i don't care how basic it is i'm gonna keep buying it because i it's really really good but i also really love uh matcha 
I will always have a love for matcha. But it really depends on where I go because like there are other boba places around where I really love their like mango slushies or their strawberry milk. So I dabble in different areas. My next question is, how is your new apartment search going? It's going really well. We have a lease set and everything and we've had it like since December. So now it's all about like just getting all the furniture, getting things organized. If you guys don't know, I'm living with my friend Emma and my other friend Alex, who's in music industry with me. I feel like she's been in a couple of my vlogs freshman year, but um, yeah, I'll be living with her next year, which will be really exciting and really fun, especially because I have my own bedroom and my own bathroom. We're all super organized people, which is really nice and really refreshing. So our place is gonna look spectacular. My apartment does come unfurnished though, so I still need to buy a shit ton of furniture. I need to get a bed frame, a mattress, a desk. I don't like so much stuff, but I'm trying not to think about it right now because I'm not moving until September 3rd, but my spreadsheets are popping off right now. When it does come time for me to buy things, I am fully prepared. Someone asked me if I have any Made in America plans this year. Made in America is a pretty like large scale music festival that happens in Philly, but I'm actually not going. What I am going to is Firefly Festival, which is happening in late September. And I'm so freaking excited. The lineup is amazing. And the only thing that I have some qualms about is I have to camp. I went camping for the first time a couple weekends ago with my boyfriend um, and he's like a huge outdoorsy camping person and I'm simply not. Sleeping in a tent was just not it for me. I have to go camping again for Firefly and I am going to be prepared as much as possible. I'm bringing an air mattress. I cannot sleep on the ground. I'm bringing fans in case it's gonna be hot. I'm gonna have to make do with the camping, but I'm so excited to see all of the artists that are performing. There's gonna be Billie Eilish, there's Lizzo, um, Glass Animals, so many people. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And I'm going with my boyfriend Harry and my friend Phoebe and her two roommates. And yeah, it'll be super fun. I'm definitely gonna be vlogging that, showing you guys my outfits and everything. So yeah. So those are honestly the big updates that I have for you guys. Be sure to stay tuned, watch more of my videos so you can see more of what's going on in my life. If you made it to this point in the video, you are a very good human and I'll see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs>